Welcome to Making Music. I'll tell you today, we have a very interesting show brought to you by Guitar Showcase and Monster. Uh, I, with me today, I have Rich Kazanjan, Kaz, That's right. a.k.a., and uh, you're from Monster Power, Monster Cable. That's right. Okay, tell us, tell us what it is that your products do. Now, before you do that, let me preface it. We did a show a few weeks ago or a month or two ago about Monster Cable mm -hmm. connecting instruments to amplifiers, connecting outboard effects, processors, mm -hmm. mixers, that sort of thing in That's studios. True. Today we want to talk about power. Okay, so tell me what it is that Monster does, devices like this, that you know, looks pretty cool too. Okay. I might add. Well, uh, Monster's been in the cable business, the high performance audio, video, speaker cable business, for uh, almost 30 years now. And years ago, we got into the power business uh, because it, it, it seemed to us that one, one of the ways to make uh, all the outboard gear that we were using perform a lot better was to have a stable power floor. And one of the ways to do that was to create clean power filtering devices, which will isolate. Uh, the power products from one, one another and also provide a high level of protection from surges and spikes uh, and naturally occurring waves that take take place uh, in in the power that comes out of our wall right so these device come in a, in a myriad of sizes and shapes mm -hmm. so for instance for a studio you have a big rack mounted unit yes absolutely we do um, it's called the uh, the AVS 2000, which stands for the Automatic Voltage Stabilizer. Uh, that product, uh, we, we have a few slides uh, for it somewhere, and ba basically to, to, to give you in a nutshell what the AVS 2000 does, it provides us straight 120 volts. As you know, uh, all the products that we have here in the United States are built and designed to run on 120. Exactly. And often, uh, the, the power co company that we, that we have in this area is PG&E, uh, they, they do their best to, to provide us as consistent a 120 as possible. But often it fluctuates between about 114 and, uh, and as high as 126. And what's that we're overvolting or undervolting our products, which means they're either starved for power or they're getting way too much power. So we run the risk of burning them out. And what that means is that uh, all the products that we use, whether it be a guitar amplifier or an effects processor, our television or any of the other products we have in our home are more susceptible to uh, lower lifespan, uh, maybe uh, they, they don't perform as well throughout their life also. And they're more, more, more prone to blowing up or having sure. some sort of catastrophic failure uh, in the event that there's a power spike. Performance in our industry is the key issue. Yes. So I, I spend thousands of dollars on a on a guitar amplifier. Yeah. And you want it to perform well. I want it. I want to get my money's worth out of it. Absolutely. So if if I just plug it all, first of all, let's talk about that because most power amplifiers, mm -hmm. guitar amplifiers, any kind of a processor nowadays has a little cable similar to similar to this, but very very tiny that. Often about uh, two thirds the size, yeah. if not half the size of that. Into the back of the device, and then of course this will go into the wall. Mm -hmm. Okay, the the problem. First of all, we're we're starving our product before we start, and there's a reason. I, I have a catalog. These things cost about eighty cents mm -hmm. when you buy them in bulk. Yeah. The kind that you get with your computer. The ones that they give away. The yeah, ones they give it. away with the product. Um, those the, are those are essentially the the equivalent of a spare donut tire. Right. On, on your vehicle, they're they're built to test to make sure that the unit powers on or off, uh, but they're not really before and to go to three hours of a gig. We're not going to drive to L.A. from You're San Jose on, on that little spare tire. That's right. Okay, now Monster starts here really because we yeah. we have we have this size, which is four or five times bigger than the one that comes with the unit. Absolutely. And then you have one that actually has this size cable. I mean, I, I don't know if we can see this or not, but this is this is approaching a half inch thick. Mm -hmm. And uh, and then we have we have a, a, sar a size larger up than that. Larger than, that, than this, yeah. Okay. Which for each of the of the uh, connectors, negative and ground, uh, you can get up to 12 gauge. Full 12 gauge uh, on each. An one. average is 16 or 18 gauge. Uh, if that. And, and just so that everybody knows that as we go smaller in the number, the the size of the wire is bigger, and that's a little bit yeah. counterintuitive. A little bit confusing. Yeah. Right. It but can you know, be. essentially, it works like this. Um, each power product that you're going to plug in, an amplifier or whatever, it runs off of AC power. And what, what you want to do is make sure that you get the most current to it all the time so that the actual unit will run the way it's supposed to, to run. Um, and 
I look at it like this. If, you, if your house was on fire, would you rather have someone come to try and put it out with a garden hose or a fire hose? Right. We want the big one. We want the big Lots one. We want water. as much as, we, as possible. Exactly. And so there. Yeah. And then, then we can, we, we have, you know, at least we know we want to go from the wall to the unit with as much absolute, absolute. capacity okay, mm -hmm. as we can. Then once we get there, okay. we have to protect the unit and make sure that it's, it's operating at peak. Um, and we do that with pieces like this. This particular product uh, is called the Pro 2000, and it's a floor mounted unit. The, the cool thing about it is that it's made of airplane grade aluminum. It also has hard rubber ends, which I've actually thrown this around for four days straight tra trade show that we both went right, to. Right. Um, and all of the outlets are spaced far enough away so that you can have like a wall wart, which is uh, those large da those large Absolutely. plugs. Absolutely. Um, it also has a great on-off sw switch. Um, it has LED readouts. As you can see, this will tell you right uh, that the power coming out of the wall is 117, which is three Not lower. Not too bad, but which is okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, but you're getting a little bit of an, an undervolt. And this will also let let you know um, how much current you you still have left to draw from. In so in other words, yeah, in amperage, uh, or how much you're pulling right now. Right. So in other words, if we start plugging pro products in, you will see this number increase, which means that you have up to 15 amps to pull off of here, which is what we all run on. A normal circuit. Um, this will also tell you whether the ground you're pl plugging into is okay. That's that first green light. Yep. And whether action is on and whether any of the wiring is reversed. So the if that red light were on, we would have an issue with reverse polarity or something? You got it. And where that, that, that begins to be important is when, when you're rehearsing in a studio or when you're playing out live. Um, you really never know what you're plugging into, but with you not only get good clean power, but you get protection, and you you also have an, a sort of an early warning signal, which lets you know, okay, some something might be going on with the wiring here, so I may need to check another plug or, you know, uh, okay, sw switch my pl plug around. There's a whole lot of lot of things that you particular now, product on the bottom down there. You've got some Cat5 cable. Yes, this particular product is perfect for uh, the cu customer or for the, the end user who uh, has a home studio and may not have a rack. So you can actually plug in uh, RJ45 connector uh, for your internet or phone, and you could also do F-pin connectors. So if you have cable, uh, you can run, run that through here, and it'll clean and protect that also. It cleans and protects it. You got it. Okay, now I, that's, that's amazing because it's all built right in. Um, you have different color sections on this. I, I see four different distinct areas here. Talk, talk about that. Okay. Um, let, let's talk about wh what clean power does in order to really uh, explain this. Uh, clean power basically means um, that the, the power coming out of your wall is dirty and we need to clean it up. I'll give you a great example. Um, let's say you're